Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Art Raving Dad. My name's Lucas, this is Phoenix. Phoenix. And today on the show, we are going to be drawing a hippo. A hippo, a hippopotamus. What kind of sound do you think a hippopotamus makes? I don't know. I don't know. Someone told me it sounds like a cow. What do you think? Uh, Moo. Okay, so we're gonna draw a hippo. Let's get started. Yeah, let's go. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is we want to do the eyes in the in the center of here so sort of two small balls so one circle another circle and then we'll just color them in with the black so the next thing we're going to do we're going to do to sort of the bottom of the face so we're going to sort of start at the bottom of the eye sort of here come around and do a big circle so we're going to start there and a big circle because hippos have a big jaw so it's kind of like that it kind of looks like a marshmallow without the top <laughs> At home, what we can do, we can do some dot there, you start there, and you finish there. And, and sort of aim for here. So, around like that, and like that, and like that. There you go, connect the dots. And try and do a circle. That's it. That's the way. Oh. That's it. Whoa. Keep going. There we are. Cool. I like it. Uh, that looks like a beard. <laughs> it looks like a beard. He's got a bit of a chin. That's that's okay. Doesn't matter. You're making it your own hippo. Now we're going to do the ears. Ah, oh, ears. So with the ears, you want to come up to here mm -hmm. and draw a U, one U. And we want to come into here and draw the next U, like so. And then from here, we want to do the sides of the face. So. <laughs> Yeah. So we're going to go from this ear and do a little curve like so, a little bump, and another little bump on the other side. Oh, I like it. It looks like an ice cream head. <laughs> <laughs> and now what we've got to do, we've got to connect the top of the ears here with a little hill. So you go up the hill and then down the hill. There we go. Oh, it's the same as the kangaroo that we did. Yes, it's exactly the same as the kangaroo. If you're watching our channel, there's a video about how we drew a kangaroo and it's the exact same process. Similar, very similar. So next we want to do like the little um, ear parts inside his ear. So we want to do a ear, U, hole. ear holes. Okay, one U there. Yep, and then we want to do like a slight heel at the bottom of that U. And we want to do that on the same, on the other side. I like it. Oh, Phoenix is beating me. He knows what to do. Okay, the next bit is, what does a hippopotamus smell from? His nose. His nose. So we're going to do two nostrils. So we're going to do two ovals in this section. So we're going to do an oval, like so, like a jelly bean that's on a slant on one side. And we're going to do a, another nostril on the other side, like that. And what do we do? Well, Phoenix is beating me to it. We color it in. So the next thing we're going to do is do, do his mouth, but instead of putting the mouth sort of here, well you could put the mouth here if you wanted to. I'm going to put my mouth here yeah. on the side, so it's like, ah, hey, go on, mate, yeah. Hey, Lord, hey, go on, mate. So we do it. Hey, watch out your car. <laughs> you could break my car. Well, could break your car. A small U like that, and then you do a sort of a dip on the top. So he's sort of talking to us, basically. Hey, hey. how are you doing? Now the fun bit begins. Hippos are quite large, so we want to do the sides of his body. So what you want to do, you want to start sort of... I have enough. you got plenty of room there. So what you want to do, you want to start up here and come all the way down on the line, all the way down as far as you can go to there. Can you make the top there for me? Uh, you can go to about there. So we're sort of like in line with the um, eye here, so you can start there. Yep. Remember, just go as slow as you can and have fun with it. That's what we're here to do. Have fun. All right, and so the same thing here, you want to start there and in line with this here. So we'll do the same over this side. That's it. Now, the next thing you want to do, what do hippos walk on? Legs. Legs and feet. We're going to draw two sort of rock, rock shapes here. Yeah. Kind of like scones, I guess. Scones. So you can make these any shape you want, just as long as they're like rounded on the, it's kind of like a square, but they're rounded on the edges. Maybe you can make um, scones when, if you shape them, like if they have a cookie chuck there, they make the shape of that hip. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do 
a jam scone. It's like it's like a bread roll, I guess, on a bit of an angle. And what you want to do, you want to do the exact same thing over this side, like so. Oh, good job, thanks. I like it. So the next thing you want to do is his toes. So what I like to do with the toes is I like to put one big sort of toe in the middle, like so. It's upside down U. We want to do one on the side here like that and then another one on the side like that so see how it makes his tools and we want to do the same on the other side exact same process you half the you another you and there you go good job phoenix now we do the middle we want to do the middle to connect it up with his body you can do whatever you want straight line curved line we're going to do curved line today yeah we do boom good job Ooh. and guess what that is the hippo yeah how cool does that look now what's the next step for this? Colour it in. We've got to colour it in, but see, Phoenix has a really cool idea. He could take his froggies in some inspiration yeah. and colour parts of it in green and parts of it in yellow. It's up to you what you really want to do there. So guys, just a quick tip, like in other episodes I've mentioned, if you're struggling to figure out what colour you want before putting it onto your colouring page, it's always cool to just go grab a scratch piece of paper, grab your, your pen and just, just colour in and see, oh, that's, that's the um, redder one or that's the greener one. Sort of saves you time if you you go straight onto your, your picture and start coloring it and you're like, oh, I didn't really like that color. So that's a really good tip to uh, follow there. All right, let's color in. Yeah, let's do it. Okay guys, there you go. Here are our hungry hippos. Phoenix decided to draw his in the style of this frog. So he's got the red around the eyes, the green face and the yellow body. And he's got like a nice little pool scene, like water at the bottom here. I want a little bit more, you know, the gray, using different grays, a little bit of highlight pinks in the ears, red tongue and some blue and yellow toes. But yeah, it's entirely up to do what you do. Now, what can the guys at home do, Phoenix? When they're watching the video, the video, they can pause the video anytime if they feel like they're falling behind. And also you can like and subscribe to our channel. Isn't yeah. that cool? Yep. Hope you have fun. Hope you have fun. And until next time, guys, we are having fun making art. My name's Lucas, Art Raving Dad, and this is Phoenix. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.